in the last video, I did a tutorial of how to design an event banner and most of you said I should do another one. So I thought I would listen to you and do another one. So here is how you can come up with something like this in a few easy steps. I will be using this as a reference, but let's get into the project from scratch. Go ahead, open up a new document. I'm going to use 1080 by 1080 resolution 72 and create. The next thing that I want to do is go to my assets folder and I'm going to pick the, the image that I used here. And I'm just going to crop this out, special shout out to Zephyrus from Unsplash for this amazing image. I'm going to use the selection tool here and I'm going to just use Photoshop AI. If you're using Photoshop version 2020 or later, I'm, I'm not sure about 2019, this is possible for you to use. I'm just going to select subject and make a few adjustments of so many other ways you can crop out your image or make a selection of your image. Use it if you want to be as accurate as possible, but I'm just going to go ahead and use this. I'm going to trigger Q. I'm going to press Q to trigger this uh, temp temporal um, ref refining mask. And I can see how this looks right now. It's quite okay, but I can still see a little bit of blue that is coming through. So uh, I'm going to go to select, modify, contract, and maybe I'm going to contract this by four pixels. I want the selection to go inward. Okay. And I'm just going to, yeah. So a little bit of change there from just doing that. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and just mask that out. Uh, duplicate that, convert that to smart object. I like to do that before I drag it into uh, my, my project. Of course, that's too big. We're going to transform that maybe to somewhere 200. Okay. 200 is still too big. So let's see. That's 10, let's go to 85, 85. All right. So I already have my reference just in case I miss anything or I can refer to what I already worked on. But so far I am happy with this. I'm gonna go to the background here and add a solid color. Um, and I'm going to go with the shade of blue. And I sampled this already from the original image, but I'm going to use this shade of blue. And if you want to use a specific blue that I'm using, by the way, you can find the, the assets that I'm using in the description. I'm going to leave a link to that so you can download what I'm working with in case you want to use this for practice. So this is the color code there. You can use that. And I'm just going to say, okay. As a matter of fact, I want to make this darker. So let me go for a darker shade of blue. You can just pay attention to that. So this is the new color code you want to use and say, okay, uh, I don't need that layer, but create a new layer there. Then pick the gradient tool. And I'm going to pick the other shade of blue now, which is lighter because what I want to do is this, All right? So there is your before and that's your after just wanted to make that area a little bit brighter. All right, then now I'm going to add in some text. Don't worry about the magic, it's gonna happen soon. What magic am I referring to? The magic you saw in our reference, how she looks there and all. So as a matter of fact, I think I wanna make her a little bigger besides that and drop it down a little, all right? like so so let's go uh we say digital marketing so digital one word that shared of yellow i don't know if that's yellow or that's mustard anyway it's yellow to me All right so i'm just i'm going to say digital reposition that marketing Right now, what I want to do is just add contrast with the font. So I'm going to use extra board with that. Then this, I can leave it at, at semi board, but I want to do something like that. All right. And of course I have my reference. So as a matter of fact, this is, needs to be lighter. So it can be that light. 
So I'm using one font and using different weights of the same font, you can check out uh, Google Fonts. The platform does have a number of options for fonts, so you can check that out. So this is a digital marketing webinar. And I'm going to, you know, the canning for this, I'm going to put it at like 2000. I want it to be like that. But I'm going to, I'm going to take a different font for this. I'm going to use one of those fonts we hardly ever use because they are sort of like the default fonts you usually find, but I'm going to use it. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay, digital marketing webinar. That's what I'm going to use. And I can group that, rename that. That's my heading. Just going to call that my heading and just move it in a little. So it's all about finding the right placement, right? So about that again i have my reference so that is what i have there then the next thing that i'm going to do now is as you can see if you look at the the reference that we have we have these two circles around here so i'm just going to pick my shape tool and pick my ellipse and just add those in all right, so using that same shade of yellow, I'm going to do that, then duplicate that. But with my duplicate, I want to get the, the blending mode to something like vivid light, you know, so then it brings in that effect. Okay, again, it's all about positioning, right? Then, of course, we have um, we, we have things like the debt and the like. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my debt. It says match full. Uh, remove all of this. So this is Mirad Pro. And it's going to go ahead and make it bigger. Like so align everything to my left. Right, and I, I want to put in the time now. So uh, I'm gonna say from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And I want to change the color of that to white. Leave it as small, like so. Then the next thing that I want to do now is put in the host name. So I'm gonna say hosted by gonna say hosted by I don't know why this is doing that all right hosted by okay make that maybe like 18 points and I want it all caps but take it to yellow duplicate that but make it around 30 points and white weight board I'm just trying to have some contrast in this. So Rachel James. Then maybe you want to add a little bit of text in terms of uh, in terms of just the the host. Some intel about them, some information about them. Maybe what they do and all, but you don't want you want it to be that big. So about that will be okay. I don't want it in caps maybe too small or uh, regular 18 about that put it there so that works then the next thing that i'm going to do is just i'm going to put in the price now for this event say maybe it's ten dollars and i want this to be pronounced uh i want people to be able to see this as soon as possible when someone just looks at the at the 
at the at, at the at the banner because the other thing you know design is all about solving problems we're not just designing something but we want to solve a problem and that is a communication a visual communication problem that we're trying to solve so when someone looks at this they should be able to pick on information as soon as possible you know uh, otherwise they're going to scroll past it so i want them to be able to pick some things quick enough right to capture the attention that's why a number of things that i've done in this design are super intentional like making her image as big as I have, this is my focal point in, in this design. And that is something that I hope to do a tutorial on at some point, you know, just speaking your hierarchy, having a focal point in your design, what draws people in, you know, uh, as they're scrolling on their social, what is gonna capture the attention to be able to, to read any other information that is on your banner, right? So everything that, as you can see, is left justified for me. And I can even perfect a little bit either uh, bring in that but as you can see it is all justified to this line so that's good for me right and you know so we, we've made something in a few easy steps that is you know um, actually appealing to someone captures attention because we have focal points there uh, that that is working for us and right now it's just about aligning things here uh, just to to make sure we have that visual appeal and I'm gonna convert this to point text. I'm gonna say okay. And I don't want this to be, you know, too much. I think I'm a minimalist at heart, really. It bothers me when there's so much stuff going on, right? And so for this, all I'm trying to do is align, you know, so, I'm, so right now it, it can show me that that's perfect alignment in terms of the space in between here and there. So that's good for me. I like that. The other thing that I want to do, if you notice in the original design or in our reference, we have this website thing sitting here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in as well. All right, I'm just going to, um, so right in the corner here, just gonna say www.website.com. Make it white. I actually like it in small text this time around. And uh, yeah board is okay maybe a 20 will do but i want to draw attention to this side so i'm going to add a polygon triangle um right let's resize that and then rotate 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 it what am i trying to say rotate it all right i'm happy with that now i said i want to add bring attention to this. So I want to have maybe a color that is not anywhere else, you know, just for drawing attention to this area here, right? And duplicate that. I'm going to group these and just rename that and say arrows. Besides that, make it a little bit smaller maybe, but at least I want something that draws attention to that site. Okay, so there you go. The next thing that I want to do is when I select my main subject or my focal point, I want to change the blending mode to luminosity. And that's the magic. All that color is gone. But be careful as well when you change something to luminosity because if I put something even on top of her, for instance, if I put a shape, uh, let me just pick a shape to uh, add some color to that. All right, and not bring it down as you can see so this is what this blending mode does and of course you can achieve some cool features with it but just in case oh but just in case i'm going to lock her but just in case you are this this is not what you're trying to achieve you just have to be aware that this is what luminosity does and we actually achieve some cool stuff with this kind of a blending mode imagine if i did something like picked on a uh, a rectangle and and did something like this right we could achieve some magic actually uh, i'm gonna take this down see that we could achieve some magic with this blending mode but that's not what i'm going for so i'm going to delete that but but also uh let me see all right so there's this line at the bottom that's kind of like the finishing touch it's a rectangle um just on top there add it there and that's kind of one of the finishing touches and perhaps just a little bit of nudge, you know, just a little bit of nudge there, right? And 
Ooh, that is not what I was going for. Undo that. All right, so just going to nudge her a little bit. It's just all about positioning, achieving that positioning that I'm happy with, and it's going to look appealing. So I think I'm actually happy with that, and we just managed to come up with something uh, in a short space of time. By the way, there's one more thing. I'm going to add a pattern to this, so I'm going to drag this pattern in. It's not as big as I would like it to be, but <clears throat> excuse me, because I'm going to blur it out, I'm I'm happy to use it. I'm going to use overlay on it, overlay, overlay. So overlay i'm going to use overlay on it and reduce its opacity <coughs> excuse me reduce its opacity like to eight and even the field to like 80. i'm going to add a mask to it because i don't want this area to be as visible as it is right now so i'm just going to you know mask mask out some of that that i do not want to be visible and then I'm going to add a gradient, I mean, a Gaussian blur to this. I'm going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And while we're at, we are at this, remember to subscribe, to leave a comment, leave a like, share, help me to reach 1K. That is my target at this point. Let's just get to 1K. So share, comment, and let's keep having this good content coming your way, right? So that's everything, really. I think we are actually there. We have managed to accomplish what we're aiming for um, at this point is just a little things now just making sure everything is is tight is on point in terms of alignment all right so i can go in and resize this a little bit just to make it just be where i need it to be right okay and that's about it there you have it that's our design